All right, we're back. All right. Back at it. I'm hearing some whining somewhere, so. Need another nut? All right, time for a little dodo. Till morning. Almost two and a half hours done out of 24. God damn, that's going to be long. What up, Arthur? Look at reflection. Ah, uh, you ugly bastard. <laughs> You're getting old. Old and kind of sad. No wonder they all leave you. You sour-faced idiot. You ain't fooling no one. 
<laughs> nice motivational speech for the morning there. Decline or reject? Maybe some other time. You let me know if you change your mind. <laughs> Excuse me. You ain't been through in a while. Got everything you need. Have a look. All right, then let's have a look. Ain't nothing special, but sure. Thanks for your help. Everything in that is available for purchase. That's mighty popular these days. I sell out of that pretty fast. Appreciate it. Those go pretty fast. Enjoy. You like that? Seem to have your eye on that. I sell out of that pretty fast. If you're looking for something you don't see, let me know. That's it for now. Thanks, Mister. Yeah. Morning. Hey there.
Let's see if I can find an interesting gun somewhere. I don't want to see any more trouble from you. You hear? Wait a minute. Is that who I think it is? Been a long time. So, what are you aiming for today? Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Smart addition. That's more like it. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. It does seem strange to me that they'd need so many guards of Cornwall, kerosene, and tar. Must be something else going on there. It just ain't no way to fine-tuning your gun, you know? It's a nice piece and all, but I'd personally add some rifling. Take it or leave it. I'd like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. How about you get some new sights for this, huh? Essential, I reckon. Old Crawford at Carmody Dell had a wagon stolen from his barn. Ain't sure it was his to start with, mind you. Hmm. 
Should I buy this? All right, we're done here. I'm looking forward to testing this out. So long. Howdy. Oh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a mission with John. All right, no problem there. Morning, I think. We saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. Did you see that woman Mary Gillis about? Yes. Yes, I did. I never liked her. I know, you already told me that. <laughs> Ideas above her station. Above anyone's station, that one. All romantic silly? Yes. And this one's particularly silly. I know you and Karen laugh at me for reading this stuff. Of course we do. Mr. John Marston. Hey, Arthur! What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> Pouring forth. What did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? 
I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure, but what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. All right. Got room for another here. Good morning, Arthur. Looks real heavy in Blackwater, Dutch. Posters of you and Jose everywhere, Trelawney said. All the more reason to stay well away for now. I got no intention of going back anytime soon. Okay, fella. Where are we going? Where's the clothes? All right, let's put a mask on because we don't want to get caught. Am I going on the map? Holy shit.
Probably not a good idea to go off-road with this. Oh, the oil's leaking in the back. God damn it. I didn't even see that. Hopefully that won't fuck me over. Gotta bring the wagon all the way over there. I like the fact that the oil is like slowly starting to stop leaking, like intermittently. Hopefully it's not going to be empty by the time I get there, because I'm going to have to go get another one. Am I stuck for real?
Yeah. Go see John. Oil still leaking under. Every time. Welcome back, sir. Damn room is taking some ground up again. Yep. We can pick that up. Real fine saddles here. I think you should do it. Goes well with a saddle. It's better to equip yourself and not need it than the other way around. You can't have too much with you out in the wilderness. You must be a connoisseur. Always, always ride in style. Excellent choice, sir. What's going on with the wildlife here? Yeah. All right, let's go back. Yeehaw! Time to go back to camp and find ourselves uh, John Marston again. So much galloping. So much. This horse almost is almost dead. So let's slow down here. Mister. Hey, Mister. 
so joyful. Hi, I'm Mister. All right, let's keep going then. Yeehaw. See, when you say yeehaw, it actually goes faster in the game, so it helps. Nice and slowly here. Don't worry, I won't rob you. Don't have time for that right now. Do I have anything I can give my whore? That's my boy. There you go. Let's go see John. We're here. Itch my horse. Oh, we hit the three hour mark. Javier? Arthur. Where's John? Who's this? Micah. Wait, I came all the way back over here. It told me John wasn't waiting for me at the camp. And he's not here. What in the goddamn? Goddamn. Be glad Dutch didn't send you back to Blackwater with Charles and Javier. I heard it got bloody down there. That's some fifty dollars. Uh, you know what? I might. Uh... I'm gonna keep this little bag for myself. Well, whatever else is in store for us, Arthur, I'll tell you one thing. What's that? The rare old pleasure not to be freezing our balls off up in those mountains. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Be well. Be well. My butt. Alright. Oh. Five finger fillet. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? <sighs> Do you? Oh, before me? At least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The outlaw's trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on, you ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grade. Some nice. Okay, uh...
Oh. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, Dutch. Don't worry. I already sent a wire to the doctor for you. Ugh. Not really that good at it, aren't you? Here. Oh, you son. Ah, oh, god damn it. That's how it and that's how it goes. Let's see what you got. Fuck ah. Uh. Come on. Oh, my God. You beat my time. What? Nah, I'm good. It's all fun and games until somebody gets hurt, literally. Okay, why the fuck is John here now? He wasn't here two seconds ago. Well done, Arthur. You found the Irish Terrier. <laughs> Sadly, he's just a younger version of you. Please don't say that to me, Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. John? Get on. Good. And you? Got everything we need. Good. I think we need another man. Charles? I'll go get him. Meet us at the wagon when you can. Go. See you, Arthur. Ain't that dumb. Next time, let the wolves eat all your brain. Then you'll be a genius. <sighs> Good one. What's this? This boy is a killer. All of you, a killer. All right, Abigail wants something. Let's see what she wants before we're going to do this. Hi, Arthur. Come here a minute. What is it? <sighs> Can I ask you a favor? A fisher Probably of men. Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <sighs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <sighs> okay. Thank you. All right, where's the little youngin? Oh. 
what you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're... <laughs> it's about time that you started to earn your keep. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. <laughs> well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Well, your mama might disagree. Her and a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. Really? When? All right. This looks as good a spot <laughs> as that. All right, never mind that book. Let's... Oh, horse. Come on. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. You show me where, Uncle Arthur. You can't fish without a pole. First, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder. And bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it. Good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. I think you've got a bite. Look! Whoop, I think I got one. Pull him in! You see him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Oh, that's a nice little crapper. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I like the look of that spot. There we go. 
Well, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. You got a stick at things, Jack. I know. Well, this is clearly the spot for Bluegill. Fishing sure is boring on our <laughs> I know. Born as hell. But then, something happened. You can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Nice and relaxing. Oh, that's a beaut. Small male bass. Hey, look at this. The what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Hmm. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan. Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case. Orphan street kid seduced by that maniac silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton? Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. You know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard... A guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent uh... Milton. You see... I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die. Savagely, all of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about, no one at all. Come on, let's pick up your things and get home. God damn. It's getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. Can we go now, please? Why 
Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because, well, because those are disagreeable men, and I don't want them to hurt him. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you from folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Well, did you like fishing? It was okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. There you are. How you boys getting on? Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a... Good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named uh, um, Milton and uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. It's just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. All right. All right, then. I will see you later. Time for a little shot eye, and then uh, that go do John, go see John. He's gonna rob us a train full of uh, rich people. Driscoll. <laughs> that was supposed to be the, the nice one. Boy. Boy. Alright, where are we? Yeehaw. Yeah. 
a little bit of rest. Well, let, go, let me go see the old uh, Seamus here. There's the farmer here. Take a look. Okay, let's see. That big bag of valuable. Sure. Excuse me, you're sort of... what are you doing? Got a little kick show in mind, huh? Dynamite. Do not leave it near the campfire. Too many questions about its okay. previous ownership. Us now, won't you? Hey, mister. How do you do? Alright. We're good to go. We got some dynamite. We got some... Uh... Well, at least it ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. You ain't winning them. Fucking scrap, Arthur. I'm just not good at homework. I can see. Besides, 
What do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me. I tried to find your work, but then you're off cutting jobs with other folks, and your boy Sean doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, hey, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yo, yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please, eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid, witches. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. <laughs> You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <laughs> and what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Yeah, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sap. <clears throat> what are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. Let's go, Dan. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Let's go, let's go. Earn some money for everybody. Yep. This hey. is not suspicious at all. all. This is untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. Find a good spot, Wolfman. Yeah. Follow the trail southwest. There's a spot that's remote, but should still give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop shooting. Oh yeah. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See, this is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. <laughs> Just the action that requires a break. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. From what folks, eh? Hey, hey, take it easy. They're left here, towards roads. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh, I was saying, you had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're going to buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, boy. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. Can we stop complaining there, guys? This is not going to end well for anybody. I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. Yeah, it takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now. In the gutter sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. Oh, yeah, let's go. You know, my used to say, hey, thank you so much. No, of course, hype. Fine. Damn you, tree. For extra life, Sulky. thank you for stopping by. Scar hey, no problem. Thank you very much. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Been doing it for four years now, and I, I love it every year, so really appreciate it. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. We handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Mr. Marsh, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire. Thank you very much. Yeah. Get over there. Really appreciate you stopping by her. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want to die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving.
not going to end well. What do I do from here? Do I just get off? I need to get up there. Finish up here. Join us on board. Go on. Get up there. All yours, Captain. We'll go on ahead. All the money in the bag. Don't want to hurt anybody. Never hit a lady, though. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm losing my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says, so this can be... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. You boys need me? No. You go ahead and look for the baggage huh? car. You sure Good about job. that? Why are you wasting you show this quick, come, come on, on, just give us the money. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Everything you got. Money. Valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent from me. Let me hand you over to my friend then. Don't make money now! Son of a bitch. Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. <laughs> Everything you got. Let's go. Oh, this is going to be a good haul. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. What is it? You all right? Fill with the baggage car. Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. Thank God I'm here, Sean. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. Cigars. Money clip. I'm gonna have a right out lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm peeling me best, alright. I know, that's what's worrying me. <laughs> Looking good in here. All right, we should probably be going now. Come on, we should get out of here. Just a minute. These folks are rich, all right. Oh, thirteen dollars. Okay. Ooh, the big mama trunk. Some decent stuff. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many, you say? 
I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Hush, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? There's a few more of them torn enough. Damn, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. It's the law. I'll tell you again. Come out now with your hands up. There! I'm gonna get on the left! Get on Woo-ha! Holy smokes. Escape the law. Uh, I think I'll take my shotgun just in case. Shotgun's a bit more, uh, Yeehaw! Shit! This way, guys! This way! Oh, shit! That wasn't good! Get up, buttercup! Come on, boils! What was I doing here? Let's go, chaps. Call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. Please, we made some money. Hey, yeah, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big tank. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Total take. Easy. God damn, that was a lot of money. Woo! Yeah. All right, where's the camp here from here? Got a lot of bounties to pay, goddammit.
Easy, fella. What cargo are you bringing through here? Move Easy on through, there. boy. We We're just trying to get these supplies here. to the federal building. It's on the knee. Federal ain't got no authority here. The real Lemoyne State government's running this road. Move along if you know what's smart. Got no quarrel with you, gentlemen. Than you look. Crazy. I'll leave you to it. tax to land grubbers up north. You fellas are real sad. Playing soldiers like a bunch of schoolboys. This ain't no slack jaw outfit. Well, we're gonna do that. Wasn't anything actually good in here? Come on now, boy. Get up. Let's keep going, Dan. Yeah. Oh, shit, watch it. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was close. Now, what's going on here? Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it! I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> All right. You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. <coughs> <coughs> of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, 
If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. <laughs> which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. All right. Why is my horse hoard away over there? Buttercup, why are you over there? Did you make friends? Yep. All right, back home. Actually, I might have went. Uh, where do? Where am I right now? I should have stopped at the, um, over here, but now I'm too far. I don't want to go back all the way over there. I guess they gave Bill a break. Morning, Arthur. Good morning, Arthur. Bill. What have you been up to, Arthur? You look odd. You want to talk? Sure. I don't know. I just don't feel myself. Been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Well, also killed a bunch of innocent folk. I don't know why. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry about everything, about how this is going to end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know. Jose? Mr. Williamson? I need to reload on some rifle ammunition here. Respect, as far as I can see. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Oh, there you are. Sure. It was here. He had it all the time. Mr. Miller, he'll never let you down. It's so simple. Even you'd get it, Arthur. Well, thank you. What matters? What's always mattered? Surviving. The result, not the means, which I guess is sort of the same thing. We'll survive. We'll 
Keep moving forward. Maybe we'll leave the West far behind. And do what? Give it time. Look at the birds. Look at the beasts. Copy what the best ones do. Well, don't let me bother you. Okay, Arthur. Alrighty. That's enough for that, Dan. Morning, Arthur. Hi, Molly. Come on, just contribute. I just want to give some me some of that money. Give it all now. Let's see if we can build something. All right, this is a lot better. Hopefully for everybody, not just his. How you feeling? Okay, a little better. Good. So we did pretty well at train job but the law showed up real fast too fast it sure seemed that way to me but anyway we made it out okay i'll catch you later then all right arthur All right, I think I'm going to be taking a small little break to go eat lunch since I don't have any I don't have anybody to bring me lunch, so I'll uh, I'll go do that. Just go eat a little bit and uh, come back. I should be back. Uh, I don't know when. Uh, it should be about a one. I don't know, maybe 10 to 15 minutes, hopefully. So and hopefully it's not too long. So uh, yeah, I will be right back. So see you soon.